Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to root and install and custom the QWERTY on any Android device without using computer. Let's do this. On your device, go to the browser and navigate to the kingroot.net and download the app on your phone. So as you can see, the app is immediately started downloading and please let it be finished. Now once it's done, go to these settings and choose security and make sure you have ticked the option called unknown sources. Now go ahead and open your file explorer and uh, navigate for the app called Kingroot and install it. Once the installation is done, go ahead and open the app. So bypass all the uh, welcome screens and now we can see the message try it and click on it. So the King would immediately start detecting your device information and as you can see so it's scanning so as you can see my model is XT1022 and now we can see the 50-50 uh, chances of uh, rooting your device so whatever it might be click on the start route and uh, it supports almost 90% uh, of the Android devices and you can try yourself like this and it can be worked definitely now as you can see it's downloading and I'll be back with you once it's done now you can see it's successfully done and you can see the message uh, root successful to check whether the device is rooted or not i download the app called root checker from the play store and open it now click on the verify root so immediately you can see the uh, root checker will then be asked the root permission so and then click on the allow now we can see the message as a congratulations root access is probably installed on this device so that's it and the routing your device is done so the step number two is installing the custom recovery. For this you need to download the BusyBox as well as the TWRP manager. So go ahead and open the BusyBox. So when you first of open the BusyBox, you're probably going to see the uh, accessing the root permission, allow it. Now we can see the latest version is 1.24 and make sure the install path will going to be slash system slash xpin. Click on the install. So when you click on install, it's going to start immediately uh, installing the BusyBox on your phone. At some point of view, you'll see your device will be stuck and don't worry, it's just a normal and I'll be back with you once it's done. Now as you can see the successful message, so saying uh, installation of BusyBox was successful and congratulations. So that's it, so now we installed the BusyBox, so then open the uh, TWRP manager app and which you download it and all the links in the description so when you open this as usual you can be asked to root permission allow the root permission then you can see the uh, basic interface click on the uh, device name and uh, when you click on that you're going to see a lot of devices and, uh, and uh, check your device model so I'm using the Moto E first generation so I'm going to look for that and uh, you can uh, look for your device model so yeah now we can see the uh, my device, so it says Moto E uh, Condor and select that one. Now at the install section you're going to see the uh, recovery version to install. Uh, click on that one. So this will be list all the versions available. So at the moment it's the latest version is 2.7 and select that and click on the install recovery. So when you click on the install recovery, so it will go to the uh, JMG software center and it will be download the file from there and uh, I'll be back with you once it's done downloading. Now as you can see it's almost uh, done downloading and you can see and yeah now we can see it successfully downloaded and you can see the warning message and it's just like the checking the directory and don't worry you can just click on the S. Now we can see by pressing the S you immediately will start a flashing and install the recovery on your phone and be patient and it can be normal once it's done.
So as you can see the successful message and uh, the recovery was successfully flashed and that's it uh, the installation of uh, TWR recovery is successfully done to check uh, whether it is installed or not go ahead click on the yes so this might gonna be a reboot to the uh, recovery mode and now we can see the uh, team win recovery project menu and that's it guys and that simple uh, installing the recovery and rotate your device without using any computer so if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button down there and please subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah i will see you in my next video stay tuned bye bye